Uh, all right. Well, Juan, do you want to start the meeting? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, all right. As far as I understand. Okay. So, yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you for showing up. As you may know, uh, we have been very interested to expand our efforts on, on hypertext. And, and Nicolas and Ben Kramer, they both are very good at it. I think I have just a few months of experience, really. But it's, you know, you, you learn. It's not that difficult. But Nick and Ben Kramer, they really wanted to do, a, a, how to say, like to grow the team, can I say, of people who know how to do it. And it's actually very, very interesting like now that I've been doing it for a few months, almost a year, I will say, I can see how useful it is to number one, learning Tibetan, but also number two, learning or realizing, I will say, what's the technique that Geshe Michael uses to translate. It's amazing. Uh, like, I guess in general, the, the Tibetan language has... Uh, many elements that favor this kind of translation, but especially you will be able to, to, to see directly how Geshe Michael makes uh, certain decisions or, or develops his own style. Uh, and and uh, very interestingly, you will see that it's very accurate. That's uh, um, very, how to say, amazing. It's very amazing to see uh, all these things. So yeah, welcome. Thank you for being interested in hypertexting. Also, it's a, a great service, I think, because you will be helping other generations to understand the same things that I'm starting to understand. And uh, yeah, if you, Nicolas or Ben, want to add anything, please welcome. Tell us. I would just say, um, yeah, that's a good point. Like, if you want to, if you're interested in learning Tibetan. This is a really great thing to do. If you're interested in being a translator of Tibetan, mm -hmm. really amazing thing for you to do. If you just want to help the mixed nuts, that's awesome. We could find other stuff for you to do that won't be as Tibetan heavy. <laughs> There's, um, but if you're if you want to help and you really want to learn to translate, it's awesome. So just and tell that to other other people who might be interested. Ben, you want to add anything? No, yeah, I um, no about like that. That sounds right. I uh, I think that uh, better than studying Tibetan. Although studying Tibetan is powerful, there's something about um, protecting Tibetan and taking care of what exists in the language. Right? If there's a karma that gets to there, that get you there and care. I think Ben's signal's not so good. Are you guys, or is it me? Uh, um, ben, your signal is, is um, ne nearly non existent. Okay. Well, he's here to help. So continue, Hasa, please. Oh, oh, now you're not frozen. Amazing. You're muted, but you're not frozen. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, if you want to learn, uh, protect the books. Um, it'll be lost. It'll be lost. Uh, no one's uh, no one's really speaking this language purely much anymore. There are a few weird places in the world. Um, and um and mostly the language will be lost and um it could happen in your lifetime or not uh if you know the language then it won't be uh trying to preserve the language trying to preserve the information trying to preserve the books trying to preserve the wisdom um he, he plants the seeds for it to continue in our lives and hypertexting is like it's almost more about spreading the knowledge and protecting the knowledge um, than just sitting there and memorizing things. So um, it's kind of cheating because it, it is a nice exercise for learning. Um, but that's, at the same time, you're performing a service uh, to those who would come to understand. 
So um, you're planting seeds uh, at the same time, you're kind of studying. That's a cool way to study. It is, it is. Okay, so I guess the very first step, I mean, if I was like very new to it, the very first thing is uh, I would say, okay, what, what do I need to, to do hypertext? Okay. I will say you need the hypertexting program. Mm -hmm. you, need, you need the gopher program because it's very useful tool. It's like, a, how do you say, a searching program? Anytime you, you can't find a word, uh, you can use it. Anyways, maybe that's going too deep too quickly, but okay, you need hypertext program. You need Gopher. You need some dictionaries. You need, um, what else do you need? You need? You need a text. You need a text to hypertext. And you need you need somebody who teaches you how to operate hypertext. And that's why we have the experts today, Ben Kramer and Nicholas Shaw. I mean, I, I also have learned the basics, but I'm sure you still have some tricks that I don't know. So um, what should we do? What do you guys think should we do? Should we, um, okay, let's, let's answer those questions. How do we get, how do we get the programs? Uh, I just put a link in the chat um, and that should provide you with Gopher and hyper context as well as a dictionary uh, that you just okay. mentioned. Uh, okay. There is somebody just asked, is Gopher only available for Mac computers? I'm aware of the existence of a PC version of Gopher. I am not finding it right now. I thought that this was, I thought it was here linked to on my computer on, on our website. Uh, it's not. Um, it, it, if you click on the PC version, now it's giving us a dictionary. So for those of you who are not using Apple, uh, I am going to have to see about getting you Gopher. That will not prohibit you from hypertexting at all. Okay. You don't need that to hypertext. If you want to be a good translator, you're going to need some kind of searchable database for hypertexting. You don't need it at all. You need to download the one under the little robot in the middle top row, hyper context. Uh, and that's it, actually. That's all you'll need. Uh, you can take all these tools, but uh, for hypertexting, you just need hyper context. Okay. A few months ago, I tried downloading one of these, but it didn't allow me. Uh, should I try and see what happens? Go for I, it. I can't, I can't see what the problem would be. Yeah. Okay. I just, I just downloaded try. the context and it worked fine on my computer. Okay. You just did. Okay. Okay. So click the lot to uh, click the robot. Yeah, I did. And then right the here. Face. Okay. So your internet. Make, we, we can all try as an exercise. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you all guys, you want to do hypertext, right? So you need this. And if let's do it together. If if anybody has any trouble, we may be able to help, maybe. We can email you the zip file. Mm -hmm. okay. You are going to have to uh, click a permission. Um, so click on that one and see what happens. Okay, you will have one hurdle. Okay, watch this hurdle come up, hopefully. Uh, it won't make it good, right? This is what I'm counting on. So uh -huh. um, go into your uh, uh, system set settings, right? We used to call it settings. And before that, we called it system preferences. Uh -huh. And now preferences we seem to call it system settings. Yeah. Here. Uh -huh. uh, you, were, you were going in the right. Yeah, there you go. That's it. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. Then. Okay. Um, yeah. You have to say cancel. Oh yeah. Oh, I think it's yeah. You may you could say cancel. Is it general? Is it security and privacy? Actually, I think it's security, security and, and privacy. privacy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So what? So you cancel can cancel, cancel this for now. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Security and privacy. To the right. Where is that? Getting warmer. Yeah. Second row. Yeah. Far right. It's a little gray house. You're right. Look, 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 look. It knows. It knows. You're pining. You want 
to open it. Um, you want to click on open anyway. It, it right. knew that you were you're trying to, to do I'm something it didn't like. Yeah, you're going to have to hit the padlock first uh, and uh, put in your, your computer's password. What? I'll try. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, good. Yeah, open. I don't think you do have to. Yeah, it's open. 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 Yep. Woo. Ah, hyper context. Perfect. Cool. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is a hyper context. And this is the standard text that it has, right? But anytime we want, we actually want to work with the text, we're gonna have to upload the text we want to work with, and then we start doing that. But this is the general view on how it works. So basically you have a text with Tibetan here, and every time you go, you put your arrow on top of it, it shows you the English equivalent. So uh, I don't know, let's say, what's this? U, Uma, Ume. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, you know, Juan, if what's we can that? do everybody a quick favor, because All everybody right. is used to the translation class where we've been using Romanized Tibetan. Um, mm -hmm. No, no, keep sharing your screen, it's good. Uh, okay. Keep sharing. Would you switch using function F6? Yeah. To okay. Romanize yeah, this is very, very cool, actually. You'll see. You can you can decide if you want to look at uh, Tibetan letters, or as you say, Ben, Romanized Tibetan, and you could do but F N plus F six two times sometimes. Oops. Okay. Now you have this. Great. Umeit Sawe. So you can see, for example, Sawa, it's a, it's a, I don't know, common word maybe. And it usually means root. So you see, once you go through here, it also links it with the English root, root text. And then middle. Well, in this case, I think Uma is middle, but it's middle understood way. that it's, um, yeah, and what's U, um, just U is middle, right? Or what? Uh, Uma, Uma is, is middle or middle way. Mm -hmm. right. Uma Thurman. Yeah, and as you can see, it also, this program HyperContext also offers a dictionary. So for example, I click in Sawa, and then here at the bottom, you can already see some of the explanation of the word. So it could mean main topic, point, something who has roots, roots, stuck to fruits, and so many things. So maybe you, Ben, or, or you, Nick, are better than I to explain uh, this idea of a contextual dictionary that you have mentioned before, and, and maybe talking about the, the general purpose of hypertexting. I just put a file in the chat. If you take that file, uh -huh. right, we can come Here? up with some quick, obvious examples. Do you see the file that I just put in the chat? Yeah, I'm about to open it. Good. Uh, so just so you guys know, um, the, Juan just showed you a Tibetan sentence and its English translation, and those are already linked. So, so what you're doing is creating those links uh, when you're hypertexting. You'll be creating links like that. And those, in this case, what you're with this example, those links already existed. Um, yeah, like this. So like Tsawa was already linked to root and Uma was already linked to middle way. So that's why when he puts his cursor on one, it highlights both. So yeah. that's just showing you that it's already linked. And so our it, it, job as hypertextures is creating those uh, links. And there's a lot to it. In, in fact, you can click on the little uh, notepad button, uh, Juan, to show what it looks like underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Uh, 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 uh. Nope. No, that's, no, that's not, the other reading. That's not uh, it. OK, OK. You, you're no, talking uh, about uh, uh, here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, do okay. it. Hello? 
Ben, you're muted. Make, make it smaller, Juan, so you can see both at the same time. Uh -huh. So yeah, here is the English text in the hypertext. Mm. Oops. And yeah, good. Is... that's perfect. Oops. Uh, Juan, uh, show us that and just pull it down a little bit on the screen so you can see it right next to this, okay? And see if we can find the same section. Can you highlight the Tibetan? Uh, pull pull your, your uh, tutorial uh, HYP see. down a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Uh-oh, uh poof. Can you see? Uh -huh. Oh my God, we're undone. Yes or no? Let me do this. Mm. Getting warmer. Does this work? Can you see both of the screens? That's fine. Would you just, that's perfect. Would you highlight the Tibetan area in the text file? Uh, the Tibetan area. Uh, yeah. Here? Uh-huh. Yeah, perfect. Uh, well, but especially you see where it says DB, you see where it says UMA. Yeah. Uh, this is all it did. Here. Okay. This is all the program did. It just put in these little numbers. Okay. You see there's mm -hmm. a one before Ume Tsawa, right? And that's why when you hover over Ume Tsawa, here. there's also a one uh, next to the root text on the middle way. Right. Um, it's just making these little numbers underneath. It's putting in these cute little numbers, and these cute little numbers um, are what's showing the program what to display and what to connect. Why is that important? Let's go ahead and um, talk about a contextual dictionary by the lens of making a little bit of one ourselves. So now um, that file that you got from the chat i want you to use hyper context to open that juan so put okay. that on your desktop yeah good yeah you you're talking about this one mandala the mandala uh -huh. prayer, uh -huh. right yeah i okay. want you to use the hyper context to open that perfect okay so ben just send me like uh uh how do you call this a text in text i sent it to everybody format oh, okay great yeah. and we're gonna use this text we're gonna open the text with the hyper context. Why are why are there T's and E's in that text? Does everyone see T's and E's? Yeah, here. Why T's are there T's and, and E's? E's and T's it tells the program what language we're in, right? Make sense? Yeah. Tibetan English, Tibetan English, no big whoop. Good. All right. Now do you know where that uh, program is on your computer? You can use hyper context to open it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go mm -hmm. here. Oh, wait, I, I may need to save this, no? Because I don't know where it is. Okay. So file, I don't know, save. Or well, maybe, maybe save it. Have downloads, yeah, so no problem. Okay, so let's open. And then I go to downloads because I just downloaded it. CO1 reading, okay. Dot That's fine. Okay. Open. Then, yeah, it takes some time to load. And now we have it here, nice. Mandala. Mandel. Sashipuki Yukshin Me Tok Tram. And you see here the equivalent in English. So why don't we do a test and we just link them, right? Absolutely. Uh, okay. let, let people sh sh uh, sh shout out. What's that? Um, uh, so uh, click from click into uh, link edit mode. Uh -huh, that's and then uh, FN and what F eight. Correct. Yeah, link edit mode. Yeah, yeah. you see here at mm -hmm. the bottom, you're gonna see right now. You see some numbers, but but check how it and changes. Juan's, Juan's gonna help Text you a thousand times. Mode, link edit mode. You don't... Yeah. I'll help Eventually you. you'll remember, but he'll help you a thousand times. Every time you yeah. forget, he'll appear on your doorstep to remind you. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, so good. Now uh, click on Sashi and uh, and let's go round robin. Someone, someone tell us what the English word is. Uh, who is first? Uh, Oscar is on the top of my uh, pe 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 people pictures. Great Earth. Do we all agree? Does that seem reasonable? Right, you see the little uh, dictionary down there at the bottom? Yeah. 
Yeah, really, yeah. That's what yes. I was going to say. The important thing is to pay attention to the fact that you have the answers in front of you. <laughs> you see when he clicked on it, a little dictionary appeared down at the bottom? Yeah, here. You know what the boss would say. Everybody nod. Yes, <laughs> we see. Good. Yeah. Uh, cool. So um, what are you going to do, Pond? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check. Okay, I read the Tibetan. Let's say I don't know what it means, but I see the English then, and this means mm -hmm. Earth. And but I I will do this. I will just click on Sa, and Sa either can mean Earth. Uh, so I will actually link Sa to Earth itself, and so mm -hmm. I click Sa and I click Earth. And if you want to link them, you're going to press space bar. So check mm -hmm. this out. I'm going to click space bar. Yeah, great. And now they are together. Now, Juan, Stop. close the reading on, on your, in your right-hand panel. Uh huh. This one? Close that. because we're Yeah, because we're editing that file right now. We don't want to get ourselves in trouble here. Okay, uh, good. Okay, now, wait, wait, wait. Me... good. Yeah. That's perfect. Don't, don't do anything else. That's perfect. Great. Well, okay. Uh, but we want to show everybody what we just did. So click uh, on the notepad again. Now it's easy to see. Yeah. You see, uh -huh. uh, we, we created the, the link number one. Here is number one. And it's linked here with earth number one. So the word sa and the word earth, they both share this how do you call it bracket number one? Does that make sense? Uh, the word earth and the word sa are married. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, oh, you don't see that. Oh. Uh, yeah, great. Okay. So uh, close that again, right? Vaughn, so yeah. we don't get in trouble for editing it in the same program. Now, um, what are we going to do about the problem that Oscar made for you? What problem? Uh, well, Oscar I, said I sa she means great earth. Oh uh, yeah, so does, yeah, yeah. Does that mean that? Does that mean that she? This is going to be a nice illustration of what we're trying to get to. Does that mean that she means she must mean great then, right, everybody? Not necessary. Well, let's click on it. Uh oh, not necessary. Totally tell right? by your tone that it doesn't, Ben. Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Uh oh. It doesn't mean anything the heck like that. Now we got a situation. Um, yeah. So would we want to link she to great? Probably not. Now click on saw she again. Notice a cute thing. When he clicks on saw, it just tries to find the longest word it can. So he clicks on saw yeah. and it says here, I got saw she. If he clicks again, it goes on the next shortest word. So look at saw she. It says earth foundation foundation of the earth right so yeah or vast to, ground um, yeah vast, vast ground. ground that's pretty good okay mm -hmm. but does she mean vast no no it doesn't right so but we can't deny that the translator in question made a choice to say hey, great earth right he said great earth right is that always what this combination of words is going to mean maybe not necessarily right no but no, in this but in this context <laughs> oh right right in this context you see thus the name hyper context right in this context um the translator chose the word great Okay, great earth, right? Not great by itself. She by itself not, might not be. Now, luckily, you can double link. So, Juan, you want to make that great earth? Okay, and now question. Should yeah, we make it question. the great earth or just great earth? <laughs> What's the answer? There's, a, I think, in my opinion, there's a right answer. Uh, I will take the, the great earth for sure. That's I my opinion do. too. Why, why I would say that's the right answer, okay? Why I would say that's the right answer. That's what the translator did. Your mm -hmm. job is to figure out what did the translator did. You see? Um, 
And then what the translator did is he said, the great earth. All right. Yeah. So make a link. Papow. Yeah. Right. The sound effect makes it uh, actually link. So Papow. you guys yeah. have to remember. It's, a, you have to, it's really <laughs> important. Super important. Yeah. Good. So you, you can uh, see it's a double, double link. You have the great earth for Sashi. But if you want to go more specific and figure it out what earth means, you can get the sa. So the, you can have nested nested links, and that's important. What is a nested link? Show us under the hood real quick. Just be so quick about it, Juan. But just to, to illustrate the point, what does that look like? What did it just do to our text file? You see? Yeah, we have one that covers, number one covers both sa and she, and then it closes here, you see? But number two is just sa. It opens here and it closes here. So you have a bracket inside a bigger bracket. And here's the same. We have number one that covers the great earth and we have number two that just covers earth. You don't ever have to really look at those numbers or think about those numbers again. We're just telling you about them now, right? So yeah. luckily the program keeps you from ever having to think about that. So you're not gonna have to collect, connect link number 8,592 with the other 8,592 in the English. You're never gonna do that. Um, but while it's just one and two, it's, it's probably good for our little brains to look at it. Um, yeah. Your big brains, my little brains. Good. Uh, great, Sashi, uh, close that. Sashi, um, mm -hmm. uh, click on put. Cameron. Uh, let's see, to move. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so that, where is that in the English? Uh, uh, Juan, can you adjust your screen? Is there some way that we can get enough of the English? Uh, um, there is enough of the English, that's gonna do it. Yeah. There. You might have to look down yeah. further into the definitions. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Yeah, keep the word in there. Ah, uh, great. Cool. Rick asks, hey. is it compulsory to do the nested link? Rick, we do the nested link when it's correct. You know, like, like we do the nested link in order to generate more data you know, just to keep making more data. So, I mean, that's the reason, because the whole reason for hypertexting is to just generate more data. The uh, ultimate rule of thumb is, would it help somebody? If yes, then do. Uh, yeah. and, but I mean, you don't need me to tell you that because that applies to everything you ever do in your life and not just hypertexting. <laughs> but it's also true in hypertexting. Yeah. Okay, so should we do, create a new link for instance? Absolutely. Cool. All yeah. right. So you're gonna you're gonna let's say click instance, click put, and then hit the space bar. Now there is a new link. And if you are curious, as Ben say, we don't have to. But if you're curious, you can check what's happening in the uh, programming. I don't know how to call it. In the inside of the program. Now there is a number three. And it's linked to with instance over here. Okay. Now We don't, we don't check this every time when we're hypertext. No, no. <laughs> we'll go yeah, through hundreds and hundreds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is very advanced. But just for you guys to know, in the future, uh, sometimes you're going to need to actually modify the numbers here at the, at the text edit. And yeah, then that's... it's, uh, it's going to be reflected at the hyper context, but that's going to come later for now. Let's, we go uh, very straightforward. Uh, to cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. All right. Yes, so burn, yeah, burn that bridge here. when we get there. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Um, but do we, yeah who's next on your screen i've got jack um oh this is going to be tough so uh click on um click on the next word wow well, peter machiter 
Uh, yeah, click on the next word. Yeah, just click on the next word. We're going to do it. Oh, this is not fair, Jack. Um, brutal. Um, so I'll tell you something, okay? I'll tell you something because it's not fair to you. Jack, how's your Tibetan? It's already perfect, so you know the answer? Oh, but I'm guessing something like filled. Like, Good, 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 good. Good answer. No, if you don't know the answer. It's not fair to you. This is not a fair question. There are Tibetan particles. Okay, and we have them in English too, and you just have to know them, right? Key, 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 uh, key, 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 e, ye. Um, eventually you learn them. It's okay. Cases, yeah, totally. Um, click sometimes. Uh, what does Geshele say? Uh, uh, um, he calls it the paratrooper thing. You got to send. You got to send. Uh, you're gonna have to send guys over enemy lines. So let's do Jack a solid and let him do the next one instead. And then we'll come back. We'll send in the paratroopers over enemy lines. And then we'll come back to the front line. Let's deal with um, uh, Chook. Chook. Yeah, great. Mm. So, oh, yeah. So, like, uh, covering covering the earth with a, a perfume. Yeah. Good. Uh, what do you think? Um, so what's in the English then? What did the translator choose? This is hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think, Jack, will be the the chuk? chuk? I, you, would, yeah. I would say filled. Filled. Yeah. 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 I. I also. I also will choose field. What about you, Ben? Yeah, I think that's fine. Um. Yeah, I think that's correct. I think it's right. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. It. Yeah, because you see, like smear, anoint, spread on. So yeah, I will go for field. Great. Let's choose field. Yeah. Or choose seems seems correct. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, Nick, you don't get one. Um, oh, Roxana, I tried to put it off as long as I could, but you're getting stuck now. Um, now, now we got to go back to that key. Now we're going to deal with that key again. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's either of or with, but it should be of. Yeah. Right? Well. Yeah. Oh, with <laughs> that's what we have to decide. Yeah, that's what we have to decide. Yeah, um, and this is hard, okay. But but if we read all this terrible, and eventually you'll learn these, okay. The difference between and notice, look, if one keeps clicking there, it switches between key with an S and key without an S. Click, click one, click, click, click where, where? up there with the key on key. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Key See how it changes its keys? mind between key, 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 yeah. key, 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 key. key. Yeah. Right, um, because one means something has something, and the other means something does something. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll learn it over time. Guess how you learn it? By actually doing hypertexting and just seeing. Uh, that was the answer I was looking for. Yeah, wonderful. Yes, hypertexting. Yeah, that's the, the recommended method. Yeah. Um, right. So. Um, which one is which? Uh, does it say anything in there that tells you? Let's see, key by virtue of at the end of the sentence, an inflecting affix, denting, denting the instrumental case by, through, by means of, with, due to, indicating the agent, the thing doing the thing. Uh huh. Uh, what is doing what here? The h is doing something. Yeah. Tibetan is a what do they they call it a post positional language? Okay, uh, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. Okay, English is a prepositional language. By Ben, it was done by Ben. It's a preposition meaning pre, meaning we say by Ben. The word by comes before the name Ben. It was done by Ben. It was of Ben. You see, it was for Ben. We put our little words, our little baby words, okay, our prepositions uh, before Ben. Uh, Tibetan 
is a post-positional language. So we put it after. So who's doing something? Uh, do we remember what per means? I hope we uh, linked it already. So just hovering on it will automatically show you. Oh, good. What is per? Right, doing, Roxana. Um, it's filling, covering. God bless you. Perfect. Totally. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, so what's the word in the English you already said? It was one of your two choices, but now you're certain? So it's with. Yeah, totally. Yay. All right. So then we uh, select both and bar space. Nice. Yeah. Now, do we want to be? Yeah, I have a question. I have a question for yeah. you, Ben. Why? Me why? Too. We have three words here in Tibetan. Why in the English we have like a longer sentence? What is this like? What if I? Why the smell of incense and not just filled with incense? Yeah. Um, I guess, okay, here, it's a great question. Okay, and here's what I would say. I would link this, mm -hmm. okay? And let's do it. Let's link it. Let's make um, a <laughs> cookie chup, right? Let's make that filled with the smell of incense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Filled with the smell of incense. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Good. Now, how is this helpful in the future? Okay. Could something be full of incense? Could something be filled with incense? Could a jar be filled with incense? Yes, it could be, right? Is yeah. there some other context where it could mean that? Sure. In some other context, it could mean that. But in the context of a wonderful place to be, would you want to live on a planet that was filled with incense or a planet that was filled with the smell of incense? Yeah. Right? In this context, it seems clear that they're not trying to say that you can't move around because everything is crusted in incense. You see? <laughs> it seems clear that's not what they're trying to imply. They're trying to say it smells awesome there. Yeah. And to make that clear, the translator said, filled with the smell of incense. Let's not get weird, guys. Beautiful. And that's something that a dictionary that you make out of an existing translation can do that no other dictionary can do. And that's a what dictionary. It's so what would happen? Contextual, contextual dictionary. dictionary. That's beautiful. So in theory, you get a list of dictionaries. All right, someday in the future, okay, um, what's going to happen is you're going to look in a dictionary and you're going to say, you're going to see this says, Filled with incense, and then and then you look down and it says filled with the smell of incense. And how the hell would someone say it's the smell, right? You see that in the dictionary. What are you going to do? You're going to click on the words filled with the smell of incense, and it's going to take you, bang, to every place where a translator chose that. You see, as the definition, right? And you'll see in what context. Where exactly would a translator have done this? Yeah. Makes sense? Uh, yeah, it makes sense. And then, uh, I mean, to be honest, just by my own experience, it took me a while to really understand what I was doing. So I, I was lucky enough to have like many meetings like this one in the past with Nick, with Ben. So also take it easy step by step, but it's a good first step for sure. I mean, I think, right, you're going to get together. You're going to lead meetings like this, right, where you guys are going to play together and go round robin or something. OK, and eventually you guys will feel more confident to go on your own. Don't be on your own. You know, hang, hang together, you know, hang together, do it together. Right. Uh, right. Um, Juan's going to keep leading meetings. Is that what we decided, Nick? Right. That's what Juan's going to do. Right. Yes, he said yes. I saw his face. I know. I did. I, good, good liberty. Yeah. yeah. I said yeah. yes. Yeah. And uh, and also, if you guys are because we're, this meeting is getting on, uh, if you guys want to do this, we're going to jump on it right away. Like in the next two days, we'll supply you with some materials to start. 
right. uh, if, if you want to do this. If you don't want to do this, that's okay. Like I said, we have other stuff for you to do. If you just want to help us, we need, we do, we can use your help. But, uh, and, and I think, you know, I mean, I would, you know, Nick and I would love to run the meetings. Juan said he'd help run the meetings, you know, we'd love to go to all the meetings, you know, and uh, Nick and I don't have time to do all the fun stuff and it's no fair. Um, so, um, so you guys are all going to get together. You're going to have these meetings and you can, you play with it. You do what's appropriate. You can go round Robin just like we're doing, but you can also go round Robin where you take turns sharing your screen each week, you know, someone else be the Turkey with their screen shared and, 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 you know, you can all take turns yelling at each other and saying, don't click there um, un until uh, everyone feels comfortable. Uh, and it'll be fun. Not that part won't be, but the, the Tibetan part will be. Um, smell of incense. Will it need another nested link? Asks Rick. Oh, yeah, I'm already answering it. Tantalize me. Yeah. Uh, what would it be? I would say... I mean, he's probably because puh could you could you could one could argue that puh is how the translator translated. I'm oh, sorry, smell of incense yeah. is how the translator translated puh. Uh, That's true. That's you, don't, true. you don't really need to do that in this case because uh, it's really contextual, and I think that yeah. highlighting the whole phrase is something that we do a lot to include all the words. Uh, but right. I, th I think you could make an argument that he translated puh as smell of incense, but that would have been something more specific that he would have written, uh, that would have been written in Tibetan, I mean. Um, okay, well, sometimes it's, it was very interesting for me, let's say, Xing. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, this is what, good. <laughs> what about this? What about this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it okay. seems like it, 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 it's yeah. this is this is a tricky one because it says it means tree. Uh yeah. and then the next word in the English is flower. So it and then it so that's kind of interesting. Seems like it would be that. But um yeah. sometimes if you don't know Tibetan yet, you just have to kind of well, you need somebody to help you with this stuff, but check the word may. Yeah. Me, just me, right? Oh no, 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 no. no you know, Juan, it's good to it's good to yeah. click once. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Trust the thing. It's gonna it's gonna do its best to help you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's then so, um, it's flowers. Good, cat. Okay. You must be next. Good. Yes. Uh, cat's right. Flowers, metok. Yay! Right, flowers. Yay! Okay, yeah. so so uh, Xing does have a definition of tree but in this case it's not the word flower because metok is flower and it's still a little uncomfortable so let's grab trom yeah, yeah let's see what trom means uh, oh it cover That's so beautiful uh yeah yeah right yeah so right. cover yeah good and uh, what is Maytok Trum? Covered in flowers. Yeah, or yeah, as the, how did our translator say it? How did our translator translate Maytok Trum? Yeah, covered with a blanket of flowers. There you go. Now, another thing and I there's will no way say... around that he said that. Is, is the word blanket here? Nope. Right? I mean, you got to say, is the word blanket here? Nope. But, I don't know. You could argue about that. You could drive yourself uh, crazy arguing about it. Yeah, I we will are. say I will say this because this we are translating. We are yeah, we are translating a poetry, a, a poem. So in a in the context of a poem, I think it makes it more of a poem if you say cover with a blanket of flowers. Uh, just and if fun. you know this particular translator, right? If you know yeah. this particular translator. Depending on when you catch him, he might say, nah, technically blanket's not there, but I thought it might be nice. But you catch him on the wrong day, and he might say, your goddamn right blanket is there. Right? <laughs> of course, right? Uh, your goddamn right blanket is there. It's a blanket of, like, what are you supposed to say, right? That makes it clear to the reader. It's, and if you know Tibetan, if you don't think blanket's there, then you don't know anything about Tibetan, right? Like, uh, 
that's context, right? If you're explaining yeah. the context, yeah. I mean, it depends yeah. on when you catch him. Other days he might say, yeah, no, it was a poeticism. It was nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, what are we going to do about Shing? Now that's we got a situation. Oh, yeah. poor I, John. I, John, am I butchering the pronunciation of your name? Can you help me? No, no, I, John. All good. Thank you. Oh, uh, delightful. Good. We are giving you a very, very hard one. What are we going to do about Shing? Click on Shing. We got a problem. So Shin uh, looks like it is some some kind of connector. Good. Hey, yeah, it hey. is. So, awesome. so what did the translator use? Um, I don't know, comma. <laughs> yeah, good. Yes. Nice work. Do it. So do Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Right? So you can do okay. it. Wonderful. Bold. You got chutzpah. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. Now, for me, this one it took me a while because usually Shing is you find uh you find this word written in a different uh orthography. Spelling. But here you check, you check, yeah, different spelling. Look, and this is some of the cases that I would really uh, recommend having go for around because it, it tells you like it can be a gerundial particle for ching after final sa so okay a gerundial particle of ching what i will do is like i will open gopher uh wait i will open this and i will have it here and i will write ching and then uh maybe this <laughs> way. Mm -hmm. Also, you better plug your computer in. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So then, oh, now I see that Ching, it can be a, a also fine as Ching or even as with a, with a C, Ching. During their particle, the initial letter of exchanging, the rules corresponding to the particle ENG, with, when, after, as, uh, to be, you know, but I, I'm starting to, to, get more information about it okay let me get my charger and and in the meantime nick and ben can explain why ching is the comma uh, i think they got it <laughs> yeah, do you guys do you guys yeah. have any questions as to why ching is the comma uh unfortunately one looked up ching uh but uh, good enough uh right yeah which can be ching in this case yeah, um, they can do the same thing yeah great tibetan has a lot of strange nuances so one uh, characteristic you have to exhibit within your personality <laughs> in order to translate an hypertext is some fluidity. And uh, like you can't adhere too hard to rules in, in many cases because things shift a lot depending on context, uh, both in, in the rules of Tibetan and then in how you translate. And, and, uh, and one thing to know that You'll have to suspend that you have to know that you won't know all the rules for a while and you're going to have to kind of feel it out like some uh particles will look different depending on the letter that comes before or after it for example and uh i mean yeah good yeah Sorry. yeah that's just something that you're going to have to and you can memorize all that and we'll, we'll help you get the tools to memorize all that stuff um i have forgotten many of those rules <laughs> You get a sense here also for what would be um, boring translation, mm -hmm. right? This is a piece, this is a prayer, it's poetry, right? It's beautiful. You could have said, right? The translator could have said, uh, Earth Foundation is incense filled and flower covered. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I guess that's right, you yeah. know? But, um, but that's that's not it's not an it's not uh, it has no flow to it it's not how english sounds you have to translate um especially even the sense that this is a prayer that this is poetry um it's not out of the question you might do it you might be able to make a good job of it somehow um it's not illegal uh but but this idea that somehow um there's an idea that that one word could mean one thing and if somehow just like one word could mean one thing then um, then finally, our our computer overlords can take over all of translation, and um, one thing doesn't mean one thing, and it, it it's not that way, right? Um, 
there's a there's a lot of ways to translate anything and you can't you can't help it and there were some opinions here right um one was like hey ben and nick what do you think and ben and nick are like ah, i would you know what i feel like right there's artistry in translation um and uh and there's no you get people arguing about the meaning of a word you know over and over like to, does it mean does it mean filled or does it mean like suffused right or does it mean imparted does it mean uh imbued right does chuk mean filled or imbued or imparted right like or like what's the right answer right it'll always depend on the context and uh and the answer is it doesn't really mean any of those the only perfect one to one chuk means chuk that's it <laughs> you know as soon as you take it from its original language uh you've you have to use some artistry um what do you think um but the, these are right these are the foundations right juan's gonna keep meeting with you and he's gonna keep giving you tools we're gonna make sure that juan has all the tools he needs you guys are gonna all practice together um are there other foundations that we need to make sure that these guys have nick juan um and that's that just the idea I don't off the top of my head i mean this is the uh, this is the basics and um you're gonna have a, sh a ton of questions <laughs> You know, and then just have fun with each other. It's just yeah. fun. Um, yeah. Do and a couple more for fun. Let's go till the top of the hour. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, cool. You said, and don't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. It Nothing important. Don't stress. You know, for now, whatever we give you to work on is going to be an exercise. We, you know, we don't, unless you're some kind of strange uh, genius, idiot savant or whatever they call it, we're not going to. You know, probably the data. Jack, Jack found the Windows version of hypercontext. Um, he I'll did not. Oh, he did find it. Okay, great. He did. I'll tell you a secret. It's faster. Um, uh, when you get up to a lot of length, um, oh, it's fine. It's a very similar. Uh, the dictionaries are similar. Um, uh, it's faster when you get up to a certain number of links. The Mac version starts to get really upset about loading thousands yeah. of links and uh the windows yeah. version doesn't give it give a darn that's great um, it loads fast yeah so um if you're a windows person this is this is your time to shine <laughs> um all right uh, uh, do you want to do a couple just for fun till the end of the hour go ahead Juan. I'm sorry. sure 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 in the meantime i have a question let's say right now there are 17 people in the meeting uh would you like to at first we all work with the same text or each person gets their own text or is something to be decided later i personally think at this stage right um uh, you should have a similar meeting to this where you all get together and play right if someone wants to go on and they want to do some more on their own right they can get give them this text give them aci1 i mean right or something like it and if okay. you get confident and you turn it into us and you're just cooking and you just need more and more material, we're not going to let you out there hanging, you All know, right. turn us All in right. material. We'll try to find a way. What do you think, Nick? Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. okay. So I will say maybe first we do the prayers. Each person does the prayer. And once each person finishes their, their prayers, if they want to do something else, we assign them uh also another text and little by little they build up yes more but text. also you can do nothing and come to the meeting and hang out and guess totally. with everybody if you haven't figured out how to download things yet if you just want to come out and hang out and you just want to have a chance when it's your turn to shout out an answer go to those meetings even if you haven't downloaded anything it's great perfect so i'm gonna create i guess a telegram group for those of you who want to come to the weekly meetings and we get to decide when is the best time for everybody and stuff like that over there. But that's going to be later today. So for now, during the last three minutes, let's do a little more. Rirab. Uh -huh. uh, what is Rirab? Three mountains. Three mountains. Mm. The great mm -hmm. mountains. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and what's Rirab? 
sometimes sometimes if you click it's gonna just Ring. show you right like <laughs> yeah man mirror man but you may wonder why 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 read up means the great mountain and you click on re and then oh re by itself is mountain so do we agree to to give it another one re for mountain mm -hmm. okay so re for mountain and what the rap highest culmination point superior excellent fully buried can we take it for to be great I definitely Most, uh, think so. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you Superior, something weird excellent. about Tibetan, okay? Yeah. I don't know a lot of languages. I don't know any other language like this. That doesn't prove anything because I don't know a lot of languages. But in Tibetan, uh, every syllable means something. In, in, in a way, right? There are a few that we could have some pretty good debates about, okay? Mm -hmm. But it, generally speaking in Tibetan, Every syllable means something, right? So we think of rijab like a word, okay? The great mountain, right? But ri means something and rab means something. When you take these little pieces of words and put them together, I don't know of any other language like that. I'm sure they exist. There sure are a lot of things I don't know anything about. Um, but it's cool. Uh, all right. Um, we have two minutes. Let's use them as the boss would. Okay, check this out. Uh, so next is Ling Shi. Anybody wants to guess? Oh, is that true? Click on it. Is that what it wants? It, it gives you all of Ling Shi? Oh, yeah, sure enough. Mm -hmm. Look at you. She is what are you going to do? Look, it's... What? Uh, so everybody knows, look, you can resize the definition window so that everything is in there. Juan, you know that? Here you mean? Here? Or what? Yeah, yeah. go hover on the edge between the dictionary and the oh, rest here, of the here. stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah, just make Here. it bigger so you don't run into this problem. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. All right. So sometimes it's very straightforward and you find the answer right here. Sometimes you don't, and that's when you want to use Gopher. But here it says the four continents. Why? I will say. I will say why, why the four continents? It's good to take the four continents, but okay, let's assume it's the four continents, it is. But then it's sometimes, it's, I, well, I recommend wondering why, why does that mean the four continent? And you click on each one of them separate. So what's Ling and what is, what, what's she? So let's click on she. It's four. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. She means four. Okay, great. So then you select four and you click she so what do you think link means continent let's check interesting island land place sanctuary continent as well even monastery temple or mansion cool so we go for continent uh okay now i have a question for nick and ben should i link link with continent or with continents That's a good question i mean i would in i would it's contextual so i would link it with continents because tibetan is not exact there are ways to express express plural yeah. nouns but uh they usually don't <laughs> okay so in this context, link means continents. Yeah. There's a way to say one. There's a way to say money, many. There's a way to say one. There's a way to say many. And if it yeah. doesn't tell you, then it could could be either. Mm -hmm. uh, but but with the number four, we can be pretty yeah. confident in this <laughs> context. It means continents. Yeah. So it is cool uh, because link she means the four continents, but then link is continents and she is four. And you get to see all that here in high, hyper context you get to understand does that everyone they, know yeah sorry no sorry it's this terrible lag i'm sorry i'm interrupting everybody it's <laughs> no, terrible. Don't worry. um does everyone know how to get a hold of Juan? does everyone know how to get into the telegram group um one would you put your email address in the chat yeah for sure uh 
Okay, this is and then I'm guessing everybody here it's in the in the email we sent. If you are not, just send me an email. Um, and then Wonderful. yeah, I'll make sure everybody who's interested gets into the either telegram group or like an email list or somehow that we can all fit. Cool. So what should oh. we stop for now? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Short, short and sweet. Always, uh, always leave them wanting one. Yeah. <laughs> always what? Always leave your audience wanting. I see. Great. Uh, you know, Great. yeah. Uh huh. Good. Thank you for joining yeah. everybody. Uh, I think um Catherine, if you just showed up uh we just had a hypertext meeting <laughs> um so i'm sorry if there was any confusion with the time zones uh but juan's going to do some ongoing hypertext meetings to help everybody and ben and i will be available as much as we can to help with that stuff um and if you if you you know if you're serious about wanting to learn the art of translation this is a really great thing to do. So I do strongly encourage you to do it. And it's really fun. Like I, whenever we do this, I really miss doing it because I just don't have time these days, but uh, it's awesome. Um, and question, will you guys agree if I upload this recording to the uh, Tibetan knowledge base or not for now, what do you think? It's the Tibetan language so, channel. Yeah, 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 Tibetan language channel. So it's Tibet. public. Anybody can watch it. And if they feel interested, they contact one of us and we include them or something. Good. As long as they don't contact me. All right. Yeah, I guess <laughs> contact me for now. Just joking. I guess. Oh, somebody new is coming in, but they we are finishing. All right. Okay. We're going to share the recording. So yeah, hope it's, it's useful. And then I'll... I'll let you know, we will organize to choose a day and time a week to do this to so everybody gets familiar with everything. Thanks you guys for your interest in this. I'm really, I'm happy to see uh, your faces and people's feel people's interest in this. It's awesome. Uh, so have fun with it. And, uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll be doing more together and translating together someday soon. It won't take you long to catch up to me and Ben's level of translating. So <laughs> That's true. we've only been at it for 10 years. So give yourself maybe 15, <laughs> give yourself a few 15 months or something. And Oscar probably has already surpassed us between the last time we saw him and now. Probably. It's frustrating. <laughs> okay. Well, thank, thank you, you everybody. everybody. We'll see you soon sometime. All right. See you. Thank Thanks you. you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Juan. Thanks, guys. M Merry Christmas.